The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink TV, its sponsors, or partners. Take a Hike is supported by the following. Hi, I'm Dr. Penny Sutcliffe, and I'd like you to take a hike. Exploring our great Rainbow Roots trails gets you out being physically active and can help improve your health, reducing your risk of diabetes, heart disease, and even some cancers. So call a friend, pack up the family, and head out for an adventure today. Take a hike on skis. Back in the 90s, I used to play a video game called Ski Free. You had to try and get down a steep hill without hitting a tree or getting attacked by an abominable snow monster. It sort of scared me away from video games, but luckily not from skiing. If you want to have fun outdoors during the winter and not spend all your time in front of a screen, skiing is a great way to do it without the threat of a Yeti intrusion. Aren't there different kinds of skiing? You're right, and there are specialized skis for each activity. If you want to speed down the Adenac ski hill, you'll want downhill skis that use bindings to fix the toe and heel of a special boot to the skis. I think Adenac is a bit too steep for me. We're not doing that today, are we? No, Claire. Today on Take a Hike, we're going cross-country skiing on the Laurentian Nordic Ski Trails at Laurentian University. Here you can choose between two different kinds of cross-country skiing. There's freestyle, also called skate skiing, where you push your skis by shifting your weight from one leg to the other, which is a lot like skating or rollerblading. We'll start with the classic style, usually done on prepared trails that have pairs of parallel grooves or tracks cut into the snow. The skis we'll use for this are a bit longer than freestyle skis. Where can I get some skis? You can go to an outdoor store that specializes in skis. Their staff should be able to choose the right length, width, and shape for the kind of activity you'll be doing. Or if you just want to try out this sport, you can rent classic and freestyle skis on the weekends from the Laurentian Stadium Chalet. Check their website for rental rates, along with hours of operations and daily trail fees. As a very general rule, classic cross-country skis should reach your wrist when you raise your arm over your head. You'll also want to pay special attention to the length of your poles. Some people say they should come up to your armpits, but most recommend you choose poles that reach the top of your shoulder or just below your chin to help you climb hills. And don't forget you'll need ski boots too. Is that all I need to know about the equipment? Just one last thing. For classic cross-country skiing, you can choose convenient waxless skis that can be ready to use without any preparation, or you can choose waxable skis. Wait, why would you put wax on a ski? Different kinds of wax allow skiers to customize the surface of the ski to match the current snow conditions. Very high tech. Wax on right hand, wax off left hand. Wax on, wax off. Breathe in through nose, out through mouth. Wax on, wax off. Don't forget to breathe, very important. What if I don't know how to ski? The first step, Claire, is to admit you have a problem. Laurentian Nordic offers ski lessons for adults and jackrabbit programs for children. Is there just one trail here? There are lots of trails to choose from, depending on your experience level. At Laurentian Nordic, there are trails marked as easy, intermediate, and difficult, and range from 2 kilometers to 8 kilometers. You can also visit cross-country ski clubs in Capriol, Azilda, Onaping Falls, Walden, or Bioski at the other end of this trail. Who owns these trails? The land used by Laurentian Nordic is owned by Laurentian University, but the club's volunteers develop and maintain the trails year-round. Laurentian Nordic is an incorporated, not-for-profit club with more than 300 members. You can add your name to the list to help support them or volunteer. They also have programs for those interested in racing. Did you know that Devin Kershaw, an amazing Olympic cross-country skier from Sudbury, participated in three World Junior Championships for Laurentian Nordic in his youth? The last few summers he's been part of the annual Share the Road bike ride here in Sudbury, and I got to cycle along the same road with him. A little starstruck, aren't we? Uh... Uh, let's get back to cross-country skiing. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. This has been Take a Hike on the Laurentian Nordic Ski Trails. Join us again next week when Russ and Claire will explore more of Greater Sudbury's non-motorized trail system. I'm ready. Oh, I'm talking now. Okay. <laughs> Can we start to film? There you go. Good? Yeah. Okay.